how's everybody doing today? My name is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live with my very special guest. It is Jordan and Dino. How you doing today, Jordan? What's up, y'all? How's it going, Rich? It's going fantastic. Now, Jordan, um, you are a celebrity chef, a TV personality, a New York City rest, uh, restaurateur, uh, and not only will you be hosting Win Quick shows this fall, but you have your own show on Late Night Eats on the yeah. Food Network. Tell me about your path to becoming a TV personality. Well, you know, it's, uh, I'm blessed and I'm very fortunate. And, uh, you know, it actually happened pretty, pretty serendipitously, as a matter of fact. I, a friend of mine applied to be on Chopped here in the U.S. for me. He oh, called wow. me, hey, hey, I need my recipe for, a, uh, for my friend who, or sorry, I need your resume for a friend who's applying to cooking school. I said, sure. You know, they needed the wording, formatting, whatever. He goes, he texts me back when I send it. He goes, cool, you applied for CHOP. Took my Facebook profile picture, answered all my questions because he known me for 20 years and then just needed my resume. Did it. And I was like, all right, listen, they're not going to call. But if they do, I will, uh, I'll do it because you did it. And CHOP led to Beat Bobby Flay, which led to the Kardashians, which led to stuffs on CBS, ABC, Good Morning America, Today Show, and then Food Network and Cooking Channel, and then all of a sudden, I have shows all over the world, and I've done, like, about 200 episodes of television. And honestly, man, it's great. But, uh, you know, my background really came from working at the French Laundry, Spago, and Jean-Georges. And so, like, I kind of took that, parlayed that into also the fact that I'm articulate and can be on camera. And uh, the two kind of got me where I am now. Now. Well, congratulations on all your success. And I know yeah. you're Canadian, just like myself. Yeah, man. You're talking about that from Toronto, like myself. So I'm always a huge fan of anyone that can come from the six and, and make it and be successful. So congratulations on all your success. Super Perfect. proud of you. And what drew you to the WinQuick app? You know, when, when it comes to the WinQuick app, I just, I saw a couple of things. I saw the organization um, from the top down to just the, like, like Amber really, I guess, was my main kind of draw into it. Amber with the RS, she's like, She's not only a family friend, but she's so great. She's vivacious. She, her tenacity when it comes to pitching, producing, and also just the development of the app and getting marquee talent to help kind of host it and relay all that information is just incredible. And, you know, I just think that the fact that you can win free money is, is it's undeniable. And so I wanted to kind of, I wanted to be part of it. And on top of that, you know, getting, being an executive producer on it as well, it's just, it's, it's kind of homegrown and organic from the ground up with all the people who have started it. And I, just, I see potential both fiscally, but I also see it as the popularity and also on a cultural game changer because this app is doing what other apps try to do in that, you know, they give great questions um, performed well by the host, but, or delivered well by the host, excuse me, except it's, you know, the questions and the style in which we ask and host and play the game it's different. It's better. It's more fun. And I just think, you know, like I said, the fact that you can win free money, you don't have to pay anything in order to win money. You're just like, this is great. This is fun. And I just can't wait to see how the public really accepts it when we finally launch. Everybody wants free money and everybody's looking to make more money. So I think it's a great idea. It's a great concept. Now I've had other win quick hosts join me here on rich TV live and yep. on your show, which is based around food, which is so universal. Everybody loves food, but what type of trivia questions will you be asking? All right. Well, without giving away too much, uh, when, when it comes to the, the food like knowledge and what we're asking, we're, we want to get the gamut of people that, that have a passion for cooking that are going to play on um, what I'm hosting in terms of the food, the win quick food. So, you know, we're going to be asking everything from the technicalities to the nuances of, of cuts, of temperatures, of heating, of bacteria growth to the types and styles of pots and pans and what they could be used for. And, you know, we're, we're getting into the nitty gritty in terms of how like deep and detailed can you get, but we're also asking kind of more topical questions that are fun when it comes to maybe pop culture and how that is incorporated into certain scripted lines or unscripted lines or impromptu imp improvisational things in comedy or dramatic scenes. So, you know, the, the best part about food is that it speaks to so many different people. And this app, it, it's specifically the WinQuick food, like um, trivia, really covers everything from pop culture to the fine chef kind of driven questions and everything in between. Now, Greg Clem, your chief revenue officer, was on the show and he said you guys are already casting new shows and expanding programming. 
Will you venture into other categories or host different shows? You know, uh, without a doubt, I, will, I would love to host other shows. In fact, I am. You know, I, I grew up in L.A., uh, so Hollywood was a huge part of my upbringing. My mom was an actress and a model. My stepdad was a model. And I, I, you know, I dabbled in, the, in that kind of Hollywood industry in the limelight for a little bit. And, you know, it's just with everything that we've kind of collaborated on, uh, there's so many different genres that we can test, especially with our own network and how it, how it expands out and radiates into other circles, into other more deeper th meanings of different kind of categories that from Hollywood to trivia to, to food, to survival, to fashion, pop culture and whatnot. So I, for one, will be hosting as well as a, a Hollywood kind of thing because of my upbringing in there. And also kind of, you know, I, I like that glam and it's, I find it interesting too. So there's de many different genres that we're gonna be putting forth. And I just, I look forward to, you know, being a host and a conduit in which people can learn and have fun. And of course, win that free money, baby. Everybody wants free money. <laughs> Clickstream has really brought in some heavy hitters from the media world to build this app, which I think is great. What has it been like working with some of the top producers and writers in the business? I got to say, so, you know, I've specifically been working really close with Jamie Kaplan, who is uh, in our head writer. Uh, he, the way he kind of flows question to question in terms of difficulty, the way he presents information, it's unlike anything I've ever really been a part of. And you know, um, he's, you can just tell he's a true consummate professional and just also an insanely talented and, and uh, almost intimidatingly so educated, smart person. So, you know, he's definitely kind of been the backbone in terms of creating those awesome, uh, what have you, like the questions and the, the development in there. Um, and once again, also Amber, you know, just as much as I have a personal relationship with her, uh, like I said, her tenacity in producing and pitching and just make taking something from zero and turning into something great i i believe it and because of that i know that this app is going to do incredibly well and i know that not just you know people are looking to uh, and it's not just that people are looking for just some way to pass the time but you know given the kind of changing of the guard in terms of how the world works everything moving digital we like we as a consumer-based market we need something like this and i feel like the WinQuick app, Clickstream, I think that, you know, we're bringing something to the market that people can really get behind, resonate with from all types of backgrounds, um, you know, socioeconomic status. This is, this is something that so many different people can really grab onto and gravitate towards. Now, this is about to launch really soon, and I'm super excited about it. Everyone keeps asking me, when's it launching? When's it launching? I'm like, listen, when I know, you're going to be the first one to know. So <laughs> a lot of people want that free money, and they want to test themselves. So when it launches, whose game will you play first other than your own? All right, so there, that's a tough one because there's so many great talent from Josh Dobbs to Amber herself to uh, Brian Baldinger. Um, I got to say, though, if there's one that I'm like really looking forward to, and mainly it's because I was a huge fan growing up, it's uh, Howie Schwab. I, like, I grew up, I grew up like fiending for ESPN, Stump the Schwab. Like, that was my jam. And so, like, I was like, when I was asked to be a co-host with him, I was like, wait, time out. <laughs> like, so they're pitching me, you know, uh, Howie Schwab was like, stump the Schwab. I was like, absolutely so down for that. Cannot wait. I was like, I didn't, honestly, I lost the fact that I was going to be even part of it. <laughs> I was just like, yes, uh, sign me up. I can't wait to play his delivery, the way he kind of presents uh, sports knowledge and just also his plethora and just deep, vast kind of just pit of all things sports i'm just like all right like that's fun and i can't wait to learn something myself so can't wait for that i'm super excited to see your show i can't wait to see your show and i'm super excited to see howie schwab too because i'm a huge sports fan so i've interviewed howie and i was like kind of blown away too by stump the schwab i'm like i'm interviewing stump the schwab like is this the schwab. it's a it, it's a thing it was this was a crazy what was it like what, like 98 to 2008, like somewhere there, like, like this or whatever. Like I, it was, I, I remember like feeding for this and like, I even went through a trivia kind of phase because of this. So like, I'm like really excited about that. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I wish you all the best of luck with, with the win quick app, click stream and on your own personal career, keep up all the great work. This is Jordan and Dino from the win quick app. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Jordan, for being here. Thanks, Rich. Thanks for having me, man. And yeah, I look forward to the launch too, man. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Peace.